Thanks for checking out our channel today. What we're going to be looking at is a 2019 Chevy Tahoe that we built for the Parsippany, New Jersey, Fire District 6. This vehicle features Soundoff Signal's Blueprint Electrical System with the OBD tutor reader to get all the vehicle signals without any splicing into the vehicle's wiring harness. Up top first, we have a Soundless Signal Enforce light bar in dual color configuration. What you can see is we're actually looking at one of the brand new patterns that Soundoff just recently came out with. We have a Sentina PB400. We also have three inch M-Power stud mounts mounted to the side. These are in dual color. They provide additional scene lights when you press the left or right alley. In the grill, we have Soundoff Signal 4-inch M-Power studs in dual color configuration that provide additional white lighting when you hit the takedown button. And then in the grill, we have two 100-watt speakers. One is tied into the Blueprint system through the control panel. The other one's wired to a Phoenix uh, siren to do additional siren tones. Now with the vehicle in park mode, you can see that we've changed the pattern up a little bit on everything. We've added white flashing into the light bar to provide additional warning. And then we've added white flashing into the side lights and along with the grill lights. And then you can also see that we have the headlight flasher engaged on the vehicle. So taking a look at the side of the vehicle, you can see the custom graphics package that we've installed. We had previously digitized their logo for a previous vehicle that we built, so we were just able to duplicate it. And then you can see on the running boards, we have three inch M-Powers screw mount in tricolor. These provide additional white lighting when the door opens or when you turn the left or right alley light on. Taking a look at the back of the vehicle, we have a sound off signal interior light bar. This is vehicle specific to the Chevy Tahoe. You can see we have this in a dual color configuration. In the tail lights, we have, we're flashing the parking light ring via the blueprint system. And then we replaced the reverse light bulb with an LED and then provided that to flash for the blueprint system. And then it also still functioned as a reverse light and the rear scene light. On the back of the bumper, we have sound off signal three inch M power stud mounts. These are also in tricolor. They provide additional scene lighting when you're reversing. You have a rear scene switch and then when the hatch opens. Now with the vehicle's hatch open, you can see we have sound off signal three inch M power stud mounts on the back. These are in a red, amber, and green configuration. And then on the side, we have another three inch M power in green only. Underneath the hatch and on the lip here, we have Technique four inch lights. These are in dual color white and red and then you can see that the rear bumper and powers are now in a steady white this helps provide additional scene lighting when the hatch is open to the area that you're working in taking a look at the cabinet that we built for this vehicle this was a custom designed one but they wanted to maximize their gear storage area so we have a radio faceplate with their three Motorola radios, 12 volt outlet, and then USB outlets to provide charging for any other equipment. And then we have a bunch of switches here that provide a uh, hatch worn kill, hatch scene between the red and the white lights. And then we have the ability to turn on the green command mode, which flashes between the rear and the sides. This overrides the warning lights if they're on or they can be turned on manually. Taking a look at the drawer on this unit, what we've done is we've incorporated a file drawer and then also a locking compartment so they can secure any valuables that they may want to. This is good for wallets, uh, phones, anything that the guys might want to throw in there and lock inside the drawer. And then we have the large gear area. What we've done on the back side of it is we've notched it out to allow for all the radio chassis to be mounted where they're easily serviceable. And then we have a cutout here for any other small equipment that they may want to store. And then we've included as normal a ratcheting command board. This is a full width to the drawer and then it ratchets as it normally would with a pen storage. All of our command boards come standard as magnetic dry erase. So taking a look at the underneath the second row seat, we have our main distribution panel. Our main power wire comes in and then it's distributed out from there along with our blueprint central controller and our input nodes for the light bars. We also have our ignition distribution and our ma main power distribution along with our main ground for the system. Taking a look at the back of the cabinet, we've integrated their SCBA storage into the back of it. And then you can see the back side of it is where their radio chassis are real easily serviceable by just removing a couple screws and then they're able to fully remove and service the radios as needed. 
get a look at the center console that we've designed. This is our angled series console. We've installed their three radio heads, the blueprint remote knob controller, a set of cup holders, and two Motorola chargers, along with a set of adjustable armrests. On the left side here, we have the factory GM USB outlet to tie into the factory system. And then we have a dual position switch for the above head scene lighting that are in a white red combo. These are technique lights. And then on the passenger side of the console, we have uh, the 110 extension for the factory inverter along with another 12 volt USB. So taking a look at the controller on this system, the Blueprint Electrical System allows us to give tons of control to the user and customizable for each vehicle. This vehicle has the arrow stick controller built into it along with the takedown left alley and right alley. And then below it, we have a full vehicle crew. So we're able to put the lights on about a 50% power and they're just a steady glow. We're also able to dim the lights as they're flashing to about 60% so that at nighttime situations, you're able to reduce the distracted driving. We have the rear cut, so if you're in a pursuit where you have somebody pull up behind you, you have the ability to shut all the rear warning lights off. We have the rear scene, which turns all the rear lights into white to give you more scene lighting the same as you would as a takedown left alley or right alley switch. So as with every one of our builds, we isolate the electrical system that we're adding from the factory system to help prevent any interference with the vehicle's factory electrical system. As always, we have our master disconnect for the entire electrical system. And then in all of our blueprint builds, we have our front distribution panel where our remote node and our siren amps are mounted. This helps prevent having to run more wires through the vehicle and have to worry about dealing with the trim panels not fitting back on. If you like what you see, check out our website, www.1075vehicles.com, and you can view all of our latest deliveries and our available build options for you. Thanks for checking out our video, and don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Leave a like on this video and subscribe to our channel. We appreciate your attention and support. Thank you.